guys, my name is Chris Shadogs to Born Bob Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News room update that is a few days in the making. Who we haven't uploaded on this channel in a couple of days, have we? Two or three days to be exact. Uh, but we're back, we're here with another update, and it's about Dollywood and about Lightning Run. Now, like I said, this is an update a few days in the making here because I sort of wanted to gather my thoughts about this. Now you guys know Lightning Rod. This is the park's RMC. It's technically the world's first wooden launch coaster to ex an extent. Um, and basically, it's receiving an upgrade for next year in 2021. So we're going to be seeing a brand new changes to the ride. Uh, we don't know exactly what's going on. But it will be an upgrade with this catchphrase that lightning strikes twice. So I'm going to speak about my thoughts on the whole situation. So... Before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And um, yeah, let's get keep going straight away into the details surrounding this upgrade to Lightning Rod at Dollywood. So, first of all, we're going to speak about the official uh, sign that was posted outside Dollywood. Uh, credit goes to Screamscape for this, the news source. And uh, let's tell you exactly what it says. So, Screamscape's picture... Uh, of the sign says uh, lightning rod is closed for the balance of 2020 as it receives an upgrade from rocky mountain construction um, now it says keep in mind the word upgrade was used and the next part gets interesting as the sign went to say in 2021 lightning strikes twice now the screenscape news source is honestly not sure about what to make of the last bit because they don't think it will send the train around twice nor is there a place in the layout to add a second launch, and nor is there one needed. So, they're, they're, basically they're asking people if anyone has any idea about what the lightning strikes twice could mean in reference to. So what I've done is I've got the stats of the ride, uh, I've got the ride sort of stats and facts itself, and uh, I'm going to be looking at a place where they could go for some kind of upgrade or change. So, of course, we already know that this operated, or this first operated, on the 13th of June, 2016. Uh, now, this has uh, a length of 3,800 feet, a drop of 165 feet, a speed of 73 miles per hour. It doesn't have any inversions. It has a G-force of 3.5 and a vertical angle of 73 degrees. Now, I reckon lightning strike twice. Well, I'm going to tell you what I think about it. So... Lightning strikes twice. That is the main signage or this kind of the kind of teasing and marketing the park are doing with this upgrade to lightning rods. So what do I think it could be? Well, I think there's a few suggestions what it could be. I reckon RMC could be bringing in some kind of uh, changed track and retrack a couple of sections. So, you know, when they added the track in before, that was the first one. And then if they retrack a couple of sections, lightning strikes twice. You know, a secondary tracking, so um, or second track construction, second lot of track construction. So that could be a possibility. Lightning strikes twice. Are we going to have more than one train or double the amount of trains? Which I really don't think is a possibility in this case. Um, lightning strikes twice. Could lightning be some kind of theme for an adding of an inversion? Now, the, I, I might be wrong about this, but. Could it be a possibility? I mean, it, it could be. Maybe lightning strikes twice could be a, a hint towards maybe closing off one of the sections. Maybe the launch or the break room and doing some nice effects inside, like a pre-show element or a show element in the ride experience and have the, the lightning bolt striking and have some lighting package in the tunnel. Uh, so it makes it an enclosed launch and then an enclosed break run. So maybe it's going to be more of a storied ride. Um, and give it more theming as well, both in and around the ride and the queue line experience. Um, this is going to be an interesting one. Um, I've got no other predictions than that, really. Just maybe double the amount of trains, which won't be a possibility. Maybe enclose the launch and the brake run, which could be a possibility if they decide to do some more work to it. And they could bring in a better sort of track design. I mean, this is a topper track, I believe, so... Maybe they're going to switch it from top of track to eye box. So maybe all the way throughout they're going to retrack the whole coaster or certain sections and have a mix of top of track and eye box, which, you know, to this day and age isn't possible. But RMC are an impossible company that achieved the impossible with the possible. So a lot of possibles. <laughs> um, 
But no, it should be an interesting one to watch. I mean, Lightning Rod has had its downtime problems, and people have been confused about when it's going to operate. And, you know, there's been parodies about this ride. I've seen the Coaster Studios one a million times now. Absolutely hilarious, and probably true. Probably true. And, um... Hopefully this upgrade is gonna, you know, keep the ride from going down a lot more times. So hopefully this is gonna be uh, keeping the ride from going down a lot of times. So this is gonna be a huge step forward for Dollywood. I think this is probably gonna fill the slot of what would have been the Wobble Grove Dart ride, uh, which would have come in for either this year or next year. I think the Wobble Grove Dart ride will be 2022, and then the next the next roller coaster at the park will be around the 2024, 2025 mark especially with the work being done on a current coaster next year or for next year uh so that's where i'm sort of thinking about this future of dollywood projects of course the announcement of this massive investment plan was postponed due to the covid19 pandemic um so i think they're going to look at the pandemic reassess their options and see what they go from there so whatever they announce with lightning rod i think the changes to lightning rod will be the 2021 investment I think 2022 will be the Wobble Grove Dart ride, in my opinion, or 2023. And then we're looking around the 2025, 2026, even 2027 mark for the next roller coaster at the park. So hopefully this pandemic will end sooner rather than later and we can try and build ourselves back without having to wear masks all the time. But we can only do that if we stick to the rules, whether in the UK, whether in Europe, whether in America, Asia, Oceania, Australia, and New Zealand, anywhere around the world. Stick to the rules. But thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park news from update and my thoughts on what's going to happen to Lightning Rod at Dollywood. Uh, make sure you share your thoughts in the comments down below. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Child. Keep Lynn the Coast alive. Go and subscribe to the second channel, as well as my Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitter. All links in the description down below. And for now, guys, keep Lynn the Coast alive. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.